All right, so just for a size comparison uh, on the various different batteries here, I don't have the back out of any of the insights right now, but uh, this is the new Honda battery out of the, I guess it's the G3 Honda Insight, the one that I just bought. 440 bucks, this is only three out of the four modules, which is what you would put into the Honda Insight. This pack and this configuration is about 205 volts or whatever, which is about as much as you can do with the uh, stock DC-DC converter. Uh, so I have for comparison the Nissan Leaf battery, uh, which is the same chemistry uh, as this one, but it's much smaller. This is about 10 times higher capacity. This is a 50 amp hour cell, uh, whereas this is a 5 amp hour cell. But it's probably about 10 times the volume, to be honest, looking at it. Uh, now, the, the Leaf cells, putting 48 in the OEM bay was not possible. 36 was possible. Um, but it's pretty heavy and the 50 amp hours that you get, you end up having about 10 kilowatt hours of battery storage. Um, and, uh, that's a lot. And I guess that's great, but it was kind of expensive. And at this point, honestly, these batteries are getting a little bit old. Uh, I know the new leaves have better batteries. This is a 2014 leaf module. I want to say, um, it doesn't come apart. So you can only use it in, in the two cells series. So this is the same two cells here. Uh, and so when you have two of them, it's maybe, uh, it's maybe 10% of the volume, which makes sense because it's about 10% of the storage capacity. Um, so again, these cells are just made up in this configuration. This is 60 of these individual cells here. Now this is the lithium titanate cell. I have a wood box around it. Uh, I use that for chainsawing. I have an electric chainsaw, which uh, just as an aside, the electric chainsaw itself is very robust. I can cut through pretty much anything I want, but the battery is really terrible. It doesn't last very long at all and they break. I've got like six of them that are broken. Uh, fortunately, uh, uh, the company on honors them under warranty and will just send you a new battery every time it breaks. It has a five-year warranty. So, uh, yeah, I'm on battery six there. This battery has no problem. This is a 20-amp-hour battery. Uh, this is a 5-amp-hour battery. Uh, this is a 50-amp-hour battery. So the volumes here are definitely not apples to apples. But uh, the key point I'm trying to make here, you need at least two of those and ideally three of these to uh, work in the Honda Insight G1, uh, and they will fit in the bay, and, and so you need three of these, and you need one of these. So this definitely fits, and fits very easily. And it's also got really good electrical insulation here, um, so you could be a little more cavalier or maverick about uh, how you install these in the bay. Um, they do have bolt studs on the end, and so I would recommend making some kind of carrier that, that screws into those. You don't want these just sloshing around. If you have an accident and these things get punctured or whatever, they're gonna catch on fire. Uh, it's kind of the theme of today's uh, videos is that uh, you're really working with things that like to catch on fire here. So at the end of the day, these will absolutely fit in the uh, OEM Honda Insight. Uh, they probably need a tray that which connects to the studs here. This is like an M8 maybe. I haven't looked at it but it's probably an M8 stud somewhere around there. Uh, you need an external battery management system. Fortunately, you have these three connectors. So I kind of envision a PCB where you just plug the three connectors in to the PCB. It might be a long, narrow PCB to have the BMS. And, uh, and then you uh, kind of put that one flush there. It's two longs and a short, uh, which is nothing in Morse code, I don't think. Uh, but anyway, you have a PCB that comes across here and, and accepts all three of those connectors there. Uh, for your battery management, uh, but it does fit. The Leaf kind of fit, but it, man, it was tough. There was nowhere to put the computers. Uh, this is the Honda Fit LTO cell, which you need three of again. So at the end of the day, it definitely fits. Uh, super exciting that we have another battery option. I'm sure that at the $440 I paid for this, that these are going to sell out immediately. I'm surprised they already hadn't. Um, but anyway, it's really great to have another lithium solution for these cars. I need to weigh these packs yet, but uh, I'll, get the, I'll get around to that. I'm going to take the mechanical dimensions and whatnot as well.